Good freaking morning to you, my soulful badasses. Happy freaking Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Oh my gosh, I am just buzzing for life right now. I just feel so lit. It's been a, it's been a really busy week with the launch of the CEO Club, with my clients, their results, their launching, like just so many kind of things that are kind of happening. <sighs> so it's, it's, it's been a moment. It's been a freaking moment, but I am, I'm here for it. Now, let's get into business. So the first thing I want to talk about is the episode 38 that has dropped today on the Tash Talks podcast is my most spiciest, yet my most vulnerable, the vulnerable <laughs> Um, podcast ever like yeah this is gonna either call you out and sometimes we all need that I love being called out sometimes I actually like, message my coach and be like I need to call out and she goes in and I'm like just needed to hear that sometimes we need to be called out in order for us to create change and sometimes some of you may listen to that podcast and be like yep totally get that that's exactly how I feel right now Tash um, I'm on that with you like I totally feel you I vibe it blah blah, blah. So I'd be really, really interested into which one you are, which camp you're kind of, you're sitting in. And listen, when I do these um, podcasts, you know, I am spicy and I'm doing it out of pure love to call you out. You know, I'm talking to your subconscious mind in order for you to then create that change. Remember that. Remember that. So that's dropping, well, it's already dropped. So that will go go to where you listen to normally your podcast. And uh, yeah, and enjoy it. And then please do like step into my DMs and tell me, how you found it. I would love, 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 love to know. Now, this week we have launched and opened the doors to the Badass CEO Club. So there, this has been something in the making for a while where I've been thinking about what it is that I serve my one-on-one -on -one clients with, like the things that we work on, which is of course the subconscious mind, and then we blend the subconscious into the strategy, right? It's what, I've, what I'm doing with my clients and that's what gets the most incredible results. So I wanted to create a place, a hub, a club, where aspiring six and multi six figure entrepreneurs wanted to come to be in that energy. This isn't so much of like, because it's a membership, it's for beginners only. Like it's not about that vibe. This membership's more about the characteristics of people, of having that go-getting, ambitious, tenacity. It's that type of energy. Like when you know you go, you're here to build freaking empires, industries. Like you're not just here to like, coach somebody one-on-one, -on -one. like you're not, like you've got such a bigger vision of how much more people you want to impact and how you want to change the world. So it's not so much about, oh, you're at a thousand pounds and you want to get to 10K. You know, you could be already at 10K and you want to jump into that membership because what's going to be in there is pure gold, right? And the reason why I say that is I wanted to deliver the five-star service that I give to my one-on-one -on -one clients inside of a membership. So creating the content that I teach my clients so that you have foundations, so that you are already equipped with the things that you need to do. And I don't want to overcomplicate this. Like I don't want to make this a membership that has got all the bills and whistles and then you don't take the action. Like what I've learned from six and a half years in business is keeping it simple, okay? Keeping it simple. So what I'm actually going to show you and teach you is actually what you really need. And this, the simple areas of them are, are these. You are going to learn about your subconscious mind, okay? How to rewire the way you're thinking. So you're mastering the inner game for success, okay? Because that's the biggest game. That is the biggest freaking game. Then you're going to master your messaging. Who exactly is it you're speaking to? And I don't mean the bullshit as in like, what perfume do they wear? What time do they wake up? Like I'm talking about the internal and the external factors that actually matter so that we can use that work that we're doing there and bring that into our content. So you never have to say, oh, because I bet you the reason why you get stuck around posting, the reason why, whether that's you're being consistently posting, but it's, it's making you go, oh, I don't really know what to post today, that kind of vibe. Or you're going, I want to be consistent, but I don't, I'm not being consistent, it's because of this. And I know it's because you don't truly know who you're speaking to. So how can you write content when you're so focused on the fact that you don't really know who you're speaking to? She get up at seven and she lives up north. Like that, that, no, that's not enough. She drinks chai latte and she lives in LA. Yeah, and. 
She's a vegan, she eats meat. Like, that is irrelevant. I say this all the time. I have clients that are vegans and clients that are meat eaters. Like, that isn't what got them to jump into my world to want to work with me. And this is what I'm going to teach you about subconscious scripting, which is going to change the game for you when it comes to content. So, messaging, content, sales. Keeping it so freaking simple, right? Because it's the simple things that scale a business. The reason why you are not hitting the 10K month right now is because I think you're overthinking things. You're being really overwhelmed. You're trying to do all the things and manage all the plates. You're consistently posting, but it's kind of like posting, chucking up spaghetti up on the wall, hoping it will stick. Been there, done that. Totally know where you're coming from. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. You need to have a strategy. You need to have a strategy that you can actually implement so that you know, that's where predicted sales come through. You know when this type of point content that you post is going to build your community you know by creating this type of content is going to get sales like having that predictability is absolutely everything and mastering these foundations is what's actually going to scale that business you know this isn't a magic source i am not special i am not made from different stuff like i'm exactly the same as you I have a no matter what attitude. I have it always gets to work out attitude. It's I'm stuck, so I'm gonna hire help. Like, I don't have this attitude where I stick and stay stuck where I am. Oh, it's not working, it's not working, it's not working. You've been saying that for three months. Like, what's gonna change, Tash, if you don't actually change something? So, I just really feel so excited about this because I wanted to create something that was different from other memberships. And I wanna, this to me isn't about, just get everybody into the membership. That's not what this is about. I want the right people inside this membership, okay? I have strategically mapped out, priced out, worked out exactly what I wanted this membership to be and who to hold. And that's why literally for a couple of days in, with the girls literally just starting to join Slack now, right? With the Winch Channel already. The Winch Channel already is like dreamy. Right? Why is that? Because I'm calling in the right people that are coming in and going to do the work. Like this is, the, the, the membership isn't a magic source where you just pay me and all of a sudden, boom, your DMs blow up. Oh my God, your TikTok's popped off. Like no, this is about holding space and having a collective energy and being in that, being in my world where I'm going to teach you how to simplify things, how to sell. And I don't mean sell as in like say this and script by script. I mean, your strategy and everything I'm going to teach you the, it comes from the embodiment of who you are. That is why when I put offers out there, they sell. That is why when I say I'm gonna do something, I commit to it. That is why, it's because of my energy and what it is that I embody. That comes across in my content. And something that not a lot of people speak about is, actually I might even do like a podcast or uh, like a reel about this, is I don't think I realized how big a deal content was until I realized how big a deal content was which I know sounds ridiculous, but it's the truth. When I think about where my sales come from, 80% of my sales are from social media. 80%. 80% of your sales are from social media, or they should be. The other 20% is um, word of mouth and people re-signing, for example, right? So, 80, so let's talk about new sales. 80% of new sales come from my social media. So yeah, you have got to be a cut above the rest. You have got to be an embodiment of what it is that you teach. You can't be talking about subconscious work and then not embodying that. You can't be talking about selling with SaaS if you don't embody that. You can't be selling confidence if you don't feel confident. You have got to embody what it is that you do, right? You have got to master that skill of what it is that you teach, why you coach, what it is that you provide, right? That's, that's, that's like a dead set. You've got to embody that. But I don't think I realise the importance of social media, as in that is what gets you out. You get to go on a free platform, for free, to advertise you, your services, your offers, to show the behind the scenes, to show your personality, your energy, share your client results, connect with the community, have an engagement, put stuff up on social media, um, on your stories and get an engagement and people voting on polls and sending you DMs. Like You get to do all this for free. So instead of being in the energy of like, oh God, so hard, it's not hard. You just don't know what to do. They're, they're two very different things. I used to find social media so hard. At first, when I go way, 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 way back when, it was the confidence to show up. Now, I do not have a problem with that. I had the confidence to show up. I had the, oh my God, who's actually even gonna listen to me? Like, are, are people even going to take note? I had all of that. 
work through all of the mindsets up there. Then it was the strategy of what actually is I'm saying, what's gonna move the needle, what does my audience need to hear? There's a strategy to that. And it blew my mind when I really started to learn the different lenses of content. When, when there are reasons why you post certain things, the subconscious stuff behind it, why people buy from this post, why not this post, the type of messaging, like, I'm going to be real with you. There's a lot to think about when it comes to content. So if you are literally picking up your phone, whacking out a post and pressing send and wondering why that isn't working, that is because it is not a strategy. It's not a strategy. And that's why it's not working. Okay? You know I'm a massive blend between soul strategy, doing the inner work, doing the subconscious work, but also implementing the strategy. That is what gets the results. And it's not about pretty pictures. It's not about jumping on stories and reposting what someone else has quoted. Like, that isn't showing authority. That isn't showing embodiment. I'm not going onto your Insta stories and thinking, wow, I really got to know Claire today. I really got to know Natasha. I really got to know... Claire. Like, no, your audience isn't doing that. You're just, re, you're just reposting what someone else has created. And I'm not saying that you don't put up what other people do. But if that is what your feed consists of, that isn't a strategy. If pretty quotes and pictures of like your dinner is what you're posting, that isn't a strategy, okay? What is the post, the intention behind that post? Do you know that? Do you know why you're doing a call to action? Do you know what type of lens of content that is? Because this is all what builds the, you know when you, for example, when you post something and you then you convert, right? You get people coming into DMs and buying. That isn't me going, I wonder how the F that happened. Freaking hell, how did I sell out that launch? Jesus, I don't know, I literally just chucked up some, no, like, it's like, that's because I done the strategy to it, and that's exactly what I want to teach inside the CEO club, I wanted to make it a no-brainer, it's, it's like £97 per month, like £97 for what I'm going to be delivering, the, the highest quality of content that I deliver with my one-on-ones, of course, one-on-ones, they get me in Voxer whenever they want, you know, they get the one-on-one calls with me, they get that high touch point, like I go over and beyond, I freaking love my one-on-ones. But I'm giving you the content, the foundations of what I give my one-on-ones, because I know it freaking works, and I know that's how I get my clients to go in and have 20K months. I know I get my clients to come in and work on the foundations so they feel confident to show up for themselves and their business. So they feel unshakable when it comes to, that would have triggered me. And Tash, now, three months on from working with you, I don't feel triggered by this anymore. Like, it's beyond me. I've been experiencing this trigger for years. I had one client that come on that was so scared to look at a freaking online bank banking account. So petrified with it. Because it triggered her so freaking much. So from that, we were able to clear that and shift that. So guess what? She's showing up and she's bossing it now on our Insta stories. So can you see the difference, like why you have to marry the subconscious work with the strategy? Because I can give you the strategy, but if you're still being triggered by a certain belief, if you're still being consumed with, I don't think this is working, this is not going to happen, then guess what? It won't. And I've got a great example for you. I am new on to um, TikTok, right? And I just want to get up, uh, I want to get up just to make sure if anyone's doing any comments, I don't miss them. I am new to TikTok, right? What I was doing before, <laughs> I'm literally like beating my own ass out about this. What I was doing before, and I actually thought it was a strategy, so silly, um, I was just posting what I posted on the gram over onto TikTok, thinking I was going to like literally spin off, right? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> this is what I mean about beating my own ass. So that's what I was doing. It wasn't obviously working. I was stuck in that two, 200 viewer jail, right, that you hear about. So... I could look at that and go, right, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to TikTok. I don't. I didn't. Past tense. I didn't. So guess what I do? I don't stay stuck going, okay, well, I'm posting the same things on Instagram, on TikTok, and it's not working. I'll just keep doing the same thing. I'm looking at it going, right, there is a strategy to this, and it's a strategy of TikTok your girl don't know. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and hire someone that knows how to do that. And this was the coach that I found. I binged 15 of her videos. Um, on TikTok, straight into her DMs, I want to work with you. Like, you know, I'm not here to waste time. I'm not here to sit and go, I wonder how I'm going to master TikTok. Let me YouTube, let me Google. Like, no, sorry, I'm on a fast track success route. That's where I want to get to. Like, ain't nobody got time to be sitting there wasting my energy and my time, right? I've got my, more important things to be doing, as you do, right? Your time, you know when people go, I'm not going to invest into that because of X amount of money, but you're going to waste your time. 
You would rather save the money than invest the, and, 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 not the, and waste the time, which is your most precious entity that you're never getting back. Money comes and goes. Money is a flow. It's an energy. Your time, you're not getting that time back. You're not getting that time back. So why would you waste it? You wouldn't, right? This is the answer. So I worked with my coach. Working together, still, consistently. I'm posting twice a day, every single day over on the gram. Oh, sorry, on TikTok. Different content to what I'm doing on Instagram. So I'm doing con piece of content every single day on Instagram. I'm doing stories all throughout the day, and I'm doing twice a day on TikTok. I also do a weekly podcast. Stuff also goes up on YouTube. That is repurposed. The stuff that goes on YouTube is repurposed, right? It's not my focus for this season, this quarter, this potential year. So I'm implementing everything she's doing, right? Everything that she's teaching me, I'm doing, I'm testing, I'm tweaking. I'm not sitting there going, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? I'm still doing this, I'm still doing this. What I kept saying, what I brought up in every single call is I'm about to pop off on TikTok. You would have heard me say this before. I've said this numerous times. And you could look at the evidence of TikTok and be like, she's saying she's gonna pop off and she's only got 200 views. But I think I've got 244 followers, something around that. Like nothing groundbreaking, right? But I know I have the belief inside of me. I have that belief that I'm just about to pop off, like something is about to go and blow. Like that's how I honestly, on my dad's grave feel, right? I don't have any evidence of that. I have brainwashed and conditioned myself to believe in this. But that isn't enough. That isn't enough for me to sit here and be like, I'm gonna brainwash myself and tell myself the affirmations. That I'm gonna, gonna pop off, I'm gonna pop off, pop off. I am taking the action. And not just the, the action, the basic action of like I'm posting twice a day. I'm taking the action and I'm investing into understanding the strategy between TikTok. TikTok and Instagram are two very different beasts and you have to know how to work them. And guess what? Small win, but I'm here for the vibe. My views have now gone from 200 to the last four videos that I've uploaded to 700. So I've gone, if you go on my TikTok, you'll see 200, 200, 200, 200, 200 and this, 200 and that, 200 and that, for so many videos. So probably the last three months, I don't know, right? And then because of the belief system is married with the strategy, which is I'm a, I am like implementing the actual strategy, I'm doing the different lenses, all of this, guess what, it's starting to pop off. And this is just the beginning. And then this, I'm testing this myself. So guess what? <laughs> Straight into the CEO club. I'm going to be teaching you how to pop off on TikTok. But guess what? I don't ever teach anything that I haven't mastered that I don't know how to do myself. Like, what's the point of me teaching you how to do something? And I'm winging it and I'm going, this is how you do a podcast. This is how, no. I'm like, I'm coming from proof. I'm coming from evidence of this has worked and I've mastered it. So now let me teach you how to pop this off, right? So this is the importance with the soul and the strategy, and that is why I created the CEO Club, because I don't want you to guess it anymore. I don't want you to wing it. I don't want you to like post every day and feel exhausted and burnt out, and you're like, I'm not getting results, or Tasha, I'm making 4K months, but like, thought I'd be at 10K months right now. Yeah, bring it, bring it into the CEO Club. So this is gonna be, like as I mentioned, it's a literally no brainer, it's 97 pound per month. But if you pay in full for the whole year, it's 970. Like, sorry, what? You get two months free, you get a one-on-one -on -one 60 minute private call with me, which by the way is worth 500 pound itself. Plus there's other bonuses. We're doing a, a map your Q2 success session and you're also gonna get a badass audio, which is fire for when you wake up in the morning and you plug it into your ears. I haven't even recorded yet, but I'm feeling, it's like I feel like there's a download coming. I don't wanna just record something for the sake of it, like it's coming and it's about to land. Pop me in your ears, boom, you're ready to go every single day, right? This is an absolute no-brainer to spend a whole year. So monthly video group calls where you can hot seat coaching from me. You get me inside Slack with the other girls, right? The, the wins channels. You're gonna be able to have every quarter we're gonna do a challenge which is gonna create more sales and more clients and more community building into your business. Plus a one-on-one -on -one call with me when you're paying for like, hello, for 970. I would have been running and do run. Like I'm in my coach's mini mind, one-on-one, -on -one, and um, membership, right? Because you get to learn different things. When you're inside of a membership, the community is fire, but also you're getting to sit and you're learning from those videos. You're sitting and you're implementing. It's a very different energy as when you're jumping on doing one-on-one, -on -one, you get to have your coach's eyes, my eyes, my heart, my soul on you. Like on that one-on-one -on -one call, we can use that as an, an RRT bluster. So you come to get limited belief that you've been stuck with and we will shift that in that one call. Shift it, clear it, gone. Like, we are not here to play. And I will, 
bat on and I will sell my ass out of the CEO club every day because I freaking believe in it. I know it's exactly what you need and I see that with total confidence. And this is how much I believe in what I say. I had two people come inquire to work with me one on one, right? And, and you know if you're listening to this, you know if that's you, right? Two people inquire to work with me one on one. And I, where did I put them? Both into the CEO club. So I am, I am turning down five grand to come and work with me one-on-one for three months that these clients wanted to come and do. They wanted the one-on-one aspect. And I said, do you know what? Right now, I don't think it's the right fit for you. I'm, that would be so out of alignment for me if I went, here, brilliant, let's do it. I'm like, you need to learn these foundations. So I feel like, let's learn these, let's master these, then come into one-on-one. Then we can scale it even more. But there's no, like, I just feel like that would be a better fit for you. Do the painful and you get a one-on-one call with me anyway. Boom, they're like, oh my goodness. You know, I can't believe you as a coach, you're actually saying this. Like, I'm downplaying my own sales. That's because it's not the sales that matters to me. Of course, money makes the business, right? Yes, you know, it creates the freedom and the impact. It's just energy and it's exchange and all of those things. But what matters to me most is being of service and and making sure that I am in alignment with what I say and that you are getting the best offer for the best fit. That to me matters more rather than you jumping into something and I'm like, brilliant, 5K, spend three months together, blah, 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 right? That's not to say she wouldn't have got amazing results, but I just feel like right now this would have been her best fit. That to me is in alignment and it's what, why I freaking become a coach, right? I'm not here to just sell you any type of thing. Like that's just not who I am, it's just not who I am. Unfortunately, I know that not everybody is like this and I've heard so many examples of people telling me of, you know, they got promised this and under delivered. Do you know what I'd much prefer to do is kind of undersell it and then over deliver. There's some things that I don't even mention in certain offers that then I go and do. I just, that's just the way I am. Also, I love to gift people things. Like it's just, it makes me really happy. And selfishly, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm a coach is because selfishly, I love to help people. And yes, I want to do it for you, but I also want to do it because it makes me feel really great. And when my clients are absolutely smashing it, slaying it, you know, shifting through these limiting beliefs that have kept them stuck for so long, signing clients, being able to take their family on holiday, having 20K months, you know, being able to start um, a pension, you know, being able to like, oh, just, yeah, have IVF, like one of my clients, like all these things is like a knock-on effect and it's why I do what I do. So, hope you've loved this Tash Talks. So, you know what to do. I'm gonna leave the link below. Come and join the Seat Badass CEO Club if you have any questions at all to see if this is the right fit, and just send me a DM. You know where I freaking am. Right, go, go and smash today. Remember that you are a freaking badass. Bye-bye.